Carolyn, good evening to you. Trump's visit here to Detroit is an attempt to better understand the black community, but the answers the community gets may be anything but authentic. Donald Trump's Saturday visit to Great Faith Ministries on Grand River is an attempt at showing minority outreach. Trump won't speak. Instead, he's taping a Q&A session with Bishop Wayne Jackson to be shown on Jackson's cable network. But here is where things get, well, scripted. The Trump campaign will reportedly get to edit that tape so Trump doesn't put his foot in his mouth with the African-American community. Also, the bishop has submitted his questions in advance, and Trump will be given canned answers to reply. Those answers leaked to the New York Times tonight. In response to the question, are you a Christian and do you believe the Bible is an inspired word of God, Trump is to reply, as I went through my life, things got busy with business, but my family kept me grounded to the truth and the word of God. I treasure my relationship with my family, and through them, I have a strong faith enriched by an ever-wonderful God. The bishop then questions how Trump would quell accusations he and the Republican Party are racist. Trump is to reply, the proof, as they say, will be in the pudding. Coming into a community is meaningless unless we can offer an alternative to the horrible progressive agenda that has perpetuated a permanent underclass in America. The bishop questions how Trump plans to win over undecided black voters. Trump is to answer, if you're interested in a greater America with more opportunity, liberty and prosperity, you must take a chance and walk over to my side. Trump's answers could change between now and then as his campaign is seeking feedback from black Republican advisors. Meanwhile, days ago, we interviewed the bishop on the impending visit. This is a big thing. This is the first African-American venue that he's been to since he's been uh, running for president. Now, the bishop did tell the New York Times tonight that he sees no problem with submitting his questions to the Trump campaign. We reached out to try to talk to the bishop tonight. We were told he was too tired for an interview. We're live in Detroit tonight. I'm Jonathan Carlson, 7 Action News. Uh, Jonathan, thank you for the live report. Uh